My name is Shanda Blackman. I'm Associate Professor of Surgery at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, and I practice thoracic surgery, general thoracic. My title with the Annals is the Deputy of Interactive Learning, and I review manuscripts for the thoracic as well. For a young author or someone who's never submitted a manuscript, I think one of the best pieces of advice that I would give would be to go ahead and take the initiative. As early as you can in your experience, start submitting things and learn what's important. Pick a mentor, pick someone who's successfully published before who can help you through that process and take a small bite. No one needs an elephant in a day. Pick a project like a case report or a small case series. Write that up, submit it, and don't be discouraged if you get rejected. I don't know anyone who publishes in this field who's never been rejected. Rejection just means keep trying and work harder and do better the next time. So my main piece of advice would be to start small and grow as your practice grows. The most common reason that manuscripts receive unfavorable reviews is that they're poorly prepared. A lot of times thoracic surgeons have many demands. They have busy clinical practices. Some people don't have good research support. Some people don't have medical students or residents that are eager to help them. And some residents are early in their experience and don't have good mentorship. Sometimes, unfortunately, this results in a poorly prepared manuscript. When an editor reads this or a reviewer reads this, they often are turned off if there's a grammatical mistake even early in the manuscript. If it's worth considering and there are mistakes in the paper, we'll still consider it. But I would say the more work you can do to pass it through a scientific editor, pass it through as many people in your group as you can to get rid of those simple errors will make the readability of your manuscript and the consideration enhanced. Emerging trends that I see happening in thoracic surgery are less and less invasive procedures. Vats lobectomy is now the standard for lobectomy in early stage lung cancer, and I believe we'll start to see the benefit of segmentectomy for high risk patients and even less invasive procedures like ablation procedures that we'll start to incorporate into our practice. I think optics are definitely developing and so robotic technology, minimally invasive technology, and other ways for us to perform less invasive procedures will be developing. I also see more endoluminal technology playing a huge role in the way that we manage esophageal disease. The advancement of notes procedures, per oral endoscopic myotomy, and other less invasive procedures allowing patients to recover faster. The molecular technology that we have will now allow us to prevent recurrent disease and lung cancer screening. I think that'll revolutionize the way that we treat lung cancer patients. We'll be seeing earlier disease. The most rewarding part about taking care of patients in thoracic surgery is watching them survive for years and years and years and knowing that you had a part to play in that. A lot of my patients have my cell phone and I get a text on their anniversary and sometimes they'll call me on a special day. Um, that the, my favorite is the text that I get when someone's five years out from a lung cancer or esophageal cancer and feeling like I had a part to play in that person being alive is one of the most rewarding things in my practice. I, I can't tell you how much fun it is to follow these people and, and see them have a better life because I got to be a part of it. One thing I'd really like to do that I haven't been able to do is a large clinical trial. I think uh, building my practice and being busy taking care of patients and a family is very demanding. Um, I have always wanted to do a very large clinical trial and to run that trial and make a difference in the way that we make decisions about patients. Um, I think that that's one of the things that I would really like to do the most as far as practice. Um, other things in life, uh, I would love to see my children grow up to be people that contribute to society and uh, be healthy, productive members uh, in, in the world.